So we are back for number three of the Gray's boxes that I got practically all in one month. Yay! Soon we'll be able to move on to different styles of box because, you know, they keep coming. I'm okay with this. But anyway, let's start wiggling the plastic and see if we can... Ooh, this one's coming up very nicely. See if we can break into this bad boy. And then... This way, this box is biodegradable. I don't remember reading that before. 100% uh, recyclable and made with wood from a sustainable forest. Ooh, we can find out more if we go to graze.com slash, slash packaging. And all the things are off. Yay! So let's. Let's open this bad boy up. I mean, this is exciting. Last time we got popcorn. That, I did not expect that at all. So, let us break into this. And, and the card's trying to fall out. That's normal. Enjoy more protein as it escapes. Cool. So, ooh, it looks like there's at least two spicy things in the top, which I'm going to try the spicy things first. I want to, I'm like already so excited. So this is what she looks like when we open her again with the spread the love on Instagram, share the love, love you very much. All the mushy gushy things that we have seen before. This is, this is normal for you now, since this is the third one with all that on there. So it says, enjoy more protein. Here are a few reasons from Jess why 2016 is all about protein. Protein gives your muscles the fuel they need to repair properly after exercise. If you exercise, I don't. I should. It's vital for healthy hair, nails, and skin. I like all those things. Protein can speed up your metabolism. Antibodies are made of protein and are really important, are a really important part of our immune system. And there are loads of tasty ways of getting protein without relying on powders and shakes, although some of those can be very delicious. Just saying, some of them are like holiday cookies, so they're like cinnamon sugar cookie, and that's delicious. And not just in the way that they're like, no, it tastes like cinnamon sugar cookie like if you just gave some regular person that they think it was some sort of weird like not milkshake because it's not cold but it tastes like a milkshake because it tastes vanilla-y and delicious and sugary but anyway getting off track here in case you like looking at all the paperwork which I know I enjoy looking at random things there she is, isn't she happy looking? And then the codes, which I will write down below because again, it's really weird, like TH, Banana Republic, 93, Star Bravo David Echo. Anyway, let's get into the first one. Chili lime cashews, because I love me a good cashew. And this one also says new. I've been getting a lot of ones that say new. That's exciting. Well, that's both exciting and not exciting. It's exciting because they're new. It's not exciting because I want to I wanna somehow try all of them. Like, I almost want to go through and all the ones I've gotten just be like, do not include this in a box again until I've checked off that on all of them. But then I have to go back and be like, they're all good. It's a lot of work. I don't know. My life is hard, first world problems. Anyway, cashews. That is what the package looks like. This is what the little babies look like. I know that's disturbing. Why am I calling them babies? Cause now I'm going to eat them. Who knows? I'm just, I'm so excited. I get excited. I start saying things. I'm sorry. Ooh, herby. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. 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 Okay, where's one that looks like it doesn't have as much so I can experiment? No! Okay. Okay. So now, because you can't hear my thoughts. So the very first one I ate, it was really heavily cashew. And then near the very end is when I got the lime and the chili. But then the next one, I got the lime and chili sooner. And most things that, I, that you eat that have like a whole bunch of flavors on them, like the more you eat, the less you taste of the flavor. It all just kind of melt like potato chips. They all just kind of taste like salty potato chips. If it's not like a super strong flavor, like it all just kind of becomes one note. But these don't do that. It seems like the more you eat, the more you pick up on that chili lime flavor. Which is really interesting. How do you do that, Gray's Box? How do you do that? Suspicious. So the next one, also new, is hot pepper jam with multi-grain soy rice crackers. There's a little chili over the hot pepper jam. I guess you don't get confused and think it's some sort of weird strawberry. But there's that guy. Juicy little pepper, it's so cute. And there is the back for a hopefully better look at everything in there and I'm excited. So we're gonna try just a soy rice cracker on its own. Well actually we'll try a piece of it. We'll try this little guy. Mmm. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. So the first flavors I got when I was eating it are kind of like those little, the Japanese snacks. that are little rice cracker sticks with the seaweed wrapped around the middle. It tastes like that, but then near the end you got a kind of boost of sesame seed flavor, so then it tasted more like sesame. Like the sesame sticks. All right, and I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try a little bit on its own, but, you know, on it, but. Mm. Hmm. Warning, I have never had a spicy kind of jam before, so this is a totally new experience for me. It's sweet, it's spicy. Mmm, it's delicious. What? So many flavors in my mouth at once. But not in a bad way. I get this, the sesame, a little bit of sweet salty from the cracker. And then you get the more sweet and the spicy from the jam. What is this voodoo? This is voodoo. This is so good. It was so confusing for my mouth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? What? Okay. So I'm still hungry. So I want to I keep pushing through because I didn't have breakfast. It's pretty much lunchtime, so I just want to eat. Just I want to just take this whole box and just, but I won't. Or maybe I will. We'll find out. This might get crazy. So next, we're going to try the. Ooh, we're gonna keep going with spicy, because I took this little guy off and I saw something that looks way more promising. So we are going to. Ooh, and there's a little bonus thing at the bottom. Okay, we're going to get to that at the very end. But spicy sriracha crunch, sriracha peas, sriracha popped corn kernels, 
and jumbo corn. Yes. It is only 110 calories. It is also new and it is fiberific. Here is the front. Here is the joy. And let's begin. It looks like, yeah, it looks like that's it for the spicy out of this box. So we're going to try and go in the order of which they mention things. So here's one of the peas. Okay, we need one more to decide how I feel about this. It's a goodly amount of spicy. Like, I could definitely feel it. Okay, so that also answers questions unrelated to this directly for me. So I have friends who love those wasabi peas. I think they're gross. I also think horseradish and wasabi, well, American wasabi. I've never had it in Japan. I've been told it's different. I think those are gross, too. I just, nope, it's not the fact that it's spicy. As you can tell, I got, I got way too excited that these things are spicy. It's just, it's the flavor. I think it's gross. But that's okay, because other people love it. So I don't need to love it if other people love it. So I was wondering... Like, is it the dried peas? Is it the wasabi? Is it both? So it turns out, just the wasabi. The dried peas in this, they're very good. So what is next? Corn? Sriracha popped corn kernels. I wouldn't really call them popped. More of a puffed. As I almost drop it. Because see, it still looks like a corn kernel. But it's puffy. So, because I've had snacks that are like the, the sort of popped. Like, they're not big, fluffy kernels of corn. But it's like the small ones at the bottom that cracked open but didn't completely floof. The partially popped. Partially popped. That's what they are. So, let's... Okay. They're a little bland, honestly. I like um, corn nuts better. They're saltier and a little bit more crisp. And these are a little tough to get through. I'll try one more. See, if maybe that was a dud. Of course, that one was a dud. That one was a lot better. Okay. Although, oh, those are the jumbo corn. My bad. Those are the jumbo corn because now I just noticed this little puppy, which is just a little red ball of anger, which you cannot see. That, I'm sure, is the sriracha corn. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah it is. Yeah it is. I felt that. They're actually spicier than the um, peas. We need another one of those. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Good stuff. And then the jumbo corn. Which were these, which are hit or miss, so we're just gonna leave that. And I, I think I should end on a, hmm, what should I end on? What note should I end on? We'll go with antioxidant nuts. Good source of vitamin E for body's natural antioxidant. What? Oh, a good source of vitamin E, comma, our body's natural antioxidant. Red skin peanuts, almonds, Brazil nuts, and pecan cans. Pecan cans. Pecans, pecans, pecan cans. That's what I, pecan cans. So here's what the, the bar food. It's like a little bowl mixed up with the bar that 
No one has anymore because nut allergies. But you see it in movies and TV where he's just eating the, from the bowl of pretzels or popcorn or peanuts. It's There you go. Let's see. They seem not very exciting in general. So it's a peanut. Ooh, are these raw? They taste like raw peanuts. Hmm. Interesting. Because raw peanuts are a lot sweeter and softer than roasted. Hmm. That is interesting. I was not I was not expecting that. Could you tell from my fact that I'm like nuts, whatever. And then I'm like what? what? So here's an almond. Also raw. Interesting. Do they say that anywhere? a nutritionalist pick. Hmm. Here's a walnut. Tastes like a walnut. And the Brazil nut. Or pecan, not a walnut. I'm good at this. I don't know what those taste like raw either. Yeah. Dear everyone, that is a pecan con. Not a walnut itself. Hmm. That is a very good note to end on. Very palate cleansing. Killing any fire I still have in there from the fact that everything before is spicy. So I'll see everyone next time to try some more of the box. Hey, we're back for more, for the last few treats. So what we got here, what do I want to try first? What do I want to try first? Let's, let's go with berries. Let's go with some berries. Triple berry smoothie, mini strawberries, blueberries, cranberries, and chewy banana slices. Let's see if we can get it so it's not quite so. Let's try. Apparently it has one serving of fruit. One fruit. Do, ban do bananas love each other? Mmm. That was really good banana. It's soft, it's mushy. It's almost like banana bread, just like on its own. Hmm. I are chewing delicious. Mini strawberries, good as always. So they're supposed to be blueberries. Oh, okay, I think I see the difference. I think this is a blueberry. And then these are cranberries, so. Mm-hmm, cranberries. Mm-hmm, okay, very nice. Next thing I wanna try is the, ooh, the peaches and cream, which is passion fruit white chocolate, peach drops, coconut, and yogurt seeds. Like all the willpower not to just like have already like torn into this. Okay, so passion fruit white chocolate, passion fruit white chocolate. Oh, it just looks like one of those little, um, what you use for melting. 
helps if I do it not awkwardly. Mmm. <laughs> that was so good. That was seriously so good. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it is. Mmm. So good. Two shops. Tasty's always. Over here jingling. It's the cat at the door. I don't want to let him in this room yet because he likes climbing on things. And I'm afraid he'll knock like a PlayStation over. Oh, that's interesting. The coconut slivers aren't sweetened, so they're just straight up coconut. I like that decision. Huh. Yogurt seeds are kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Because it's like so much yogurt and then like such a tiny bit of seeds. So it's like a lot of smush and then a tiny bit of crunch. I don't know. And we'll save the chocolate pretzels for last. Next is... Honeycomb flapjack. Rustic rolled out flapjack with honeycomb and chocolate drizzle. Can I get closer? I can. Oh. I'm excited. I'm going to get that one that's like falling off like right here. It's the one I'm getting. It's like you get the honey, but it's subtle. Not like honey. Like honey. Mmm. 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 Okay, now I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. And then the very last one chocolate pretzels. Dip your own chocolate pretzels. Lightly salted pretzel sticks with a cocoa and hazelnut. Ooh, and hazelnut dip. Now contains nuts. It's the hazelnut I'm excited about. So, as usual, try one of these guys a little bit on his. Oh, I see the very lightly salted. A grain of salt. Squeak! I don't know if you can hear him or not. But he wants in. He wants to be where the people are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like. Mmm, I know that was out of focus, but. Oh, this, that was a perfect dessert. Mm. Although, they're not very pretzely, so it's more like breadsticks with Nutella. I mean, chocolate hazelnut dip. So, it looks like there's one last little thing in here. What is this? Oh, apparently I can get $35 off my first order from HelloFresh. So that's cool. Ta-da! That is so cool. I've heard really good things about them. And now, as you can see, well, as you can see, we are empty. Love. And I'll see everybody next time I have a, oh wait, actually, I have a bonus snack. Da, 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 da. 
So let's see how these taste. Although it's funny because I didn't notice. But it comes with like a code for like a giveaway. I don't even know. Let's give them a try. They smell like bacon bits. They have like a sour cream and chive taste with bacon bits. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. I encourage you to get them. I found them randomly once. I've never seen them again, but if you see them, pick them up. So I'll see everybody next time. Bye!